Okay, let's jump into this. Now, I decided to take a little break before the NBA play-in and playoff games, but I'm back. I'm refreshed. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to roll. Let's jump into it. Now, first things first, I want to apologize for the deletion of that interview between Stacey Robinson and I. Uh, this is what happened. I, I saw something that I forgot to edit out of the video. I pulled the video down off of YouTube, and as I'm editing the uh, original file, it deletes, right? But now, normally when that happens, I can just pull the, the, the deleted file from out of the trash and get back to it. But somehow, it deleted the whole file. I just deleted it completely, right? So don't ask me. That's above my pay grade. Look, shout out to my man, Stacey Robinson. I'm sure he'll give me another interview. Um, shout out to Mega Church. Shout out to my main man, George. And shout out to Jojo Hunter out there. Um, let's roll. Stephen A. Smith. I told y'all I was going to give Stephen A. Smith a pass a few months ago when he made the comments about Zion. And I told you why. Well, the verdict is in. Stephen A. was right. Zion comes out in the play in game and he gives the Lakers 40. But when they needed him the most, he pulled up lane. He pulled up lane, which makes Stephen A. right. What did Stephen A. say? He said, Look, it's not a question whether Zion can play or not, which we saw with the 40 piece. The question is, will he be available when his team needs him most? And the answer to that right now is still no. So Stephen A. was right. I know a lot of you don't like Stephen A. personally. I'm not a big Stephen A. fan, but I had to give him a pass and I got to give him his props. He was right about this. He was right about this. Now, Kyrie Irving, the jury is still out. We're going to see what he and Luka, what he and Luca does, right? And I told y'all, uh, Zion and Kyrie, those are two players, two of the few players that I would pay to see. I would pay to see them, you know, along with Steph, Ron, and some other players. I would pay to see them. But the jury, we saw what Zion did, and the jury's still out on Kyrie. So let's move forward. We got game one tonight. The Denver Nuggets versus the Los Angeles Lakers. Y'all ready for this? I'm going with the Lakers in five. I'm going with the Lakers in five. I think Denver will only get one game out of this. And this is what I'm looking at. I think a lot of it is going to depend on LeBron. And when I say LeBron, I'm not just talking about his play. I'm talking about LeBron's leadership. Because what I think LeBron needs to do now is he has to buckle down on AD. And that might mean he's probably going to have to do some barking at AD, right? And don't tell me Le that's not LeBron's style because I've seen, I've heard the audio of LeBron barking before. So LeBron, he may have to bark at AD because what AD has to do is he's going to have to outplay the Joker. And I believe he can if motivated. I think somebody has to stay, keep a fire on him. So LeBron has to stay on AD to keep him focused throughout these five games, right? Each game, keep him focused. Hey, AD, you, are, you stay in attack mode. You're in attack mode. You're in attack mode. I don't want AD playing from any type of passive mode, right? So LeBron has to stay on him. And if I'm LeBron, I'm on the phone with him right now. We gonna, you're going to punish the Joker. You're going to punish the Joker, and it's going to be to the tune of 40 to 50 points if they don't collapse. Now, if they start collapsing, we're going to start hitting jump shots all over the place. It's going to be jump shot city for us. Either way, we're going to do these people in. We're going to do these people in. Archer Moore is going to play a big role in this thing too, I think, at some point. But I don't think Denver has enough to do anything with the Lakers. Not a focused Lakers team where they're saying, okay, the money's on the line. We're going to have to make it happen. But it can't be anything soft coming from AD. And I think it's LeBron. It's a shame because AD makes so much money. But I think it's LeBron's responsibility to make sure that ad stays focused stays aggressive right i don't want to see if i'm lebron I'm like look no falling on the ground i'm talking to ad no falling on the ground right i don't want to see anybody stripping any basketballs from you i mean everything just has to be you like you have to be in monster mode and i think lebron is capable of doing that and i think lebron is going to also show with his play you're going to see an aggressive lebron Right. And when I say aggressive, I mean, he's going to be you, you might see a little more physicality than you normally see with LeBron. It's going to be, of course, with LeBron. 
it's all under he's he's gonna stay composed as he does it. He's gonna keep his composure, but you're gonna see that he he's there to play. I don't think Denver is gonna be able to withstand that. I think AD's gonna outplay the Joker. And it's gonna be it's gonna be done in five. Now, I'm interested in the East, I'm interested to see what I really want to see is Milwaukee and Boston. Now, what I'm what I'm hoping has happened with Milwaukee is this. I hope they were just trying to get to the playoffs and now they're going to turn it on. And I hope Giannis is healthy. And if Giannis is healthy and Dame is he says, OK, look, now I'm going to give it a shot for the money. And, and, and Bobby Portis is ready to roll. You know, I don't think Boston can take him. He, you know, I, th I know Drew, Drew Holiday. He, he normally does a good job on Dame. But I think you're going to see a different Dame if, if his team is healthy. Um, but I'm looking forward to that matchup. But I'm not mad either way because I, I like Tatum and him as well. But I, I'm, I'm really pulling for Dame. And I know there's been some controversy about Dame doesn't want to be there. I don't know how true it was. I, don't, I haven't looked up the, the, you know, the uh, articles and stuff like that. But I give Dame a good shot. But so now we're going with these Lakers. I'm looking for LeBron to put in some work. Y'all stick together. Help one another route. I'm out.